Hello everyone, I am Torior and welcome to Destroy the U-Boat Hunter. I know this is not my usual content, but do bear with me, because this is a really unique game. I don't think there is anything else like this available, because this is a World War II destroyer simulator. Not a game where you control a destroyer and see everything from above and click on enemies to shoot them, no, this is a simulator. You have to use the sonar and instruments and all the other stuff. Just wait and see, this is really different. This video is sponsored by the game creators and the game is releasing on the same day I release this video, the 28th of September. So let's get to it, shall we? In the game you control a Fletcher-class destroyer on escort missions protecting convoys from U-boats. It's super complex, I had to go through the tutorial three times, but it is rewarding. I'm going to turn on the tutorial, take you through it, explaining what I've understood, and then we're gonna do a battle. Because if I go into the battle, right away I'll have to be moving so fast with everything, I won't have time to explain what I'm doing. So, let's get into the tutorial for a moment. This is the bridge. This is for maneuvering. This controls our speed. All engines ahead standard. You can also use the keyboard to do it from any location because there's multiple locations in the ship that are simulated. If we go above this speed we won't be able to use the sonar. But for now why not? Control this with the keyboard, that's easier. All engines ahead one third. Compass is very important. Essentially this is a 360 degrees circle with the zero being the magnetic north and we can control our bearing this way. There's a rudder, the very dark thing, but I do prefer to use the discrete measurements here. You can click here Hard to set right rudder. where you're going. It can also be controlled with the rudder. keyboard. 20 degrees right. These voice communications are actually very helpful. You Contact don't have to look at the instruments all the time. Down. Contact is a submarine, of course. Now here's our radar. We can see where the contact is. Contact. Now this plots the course of us and the target and you can do that manually but let's not be crazy It can be automated. This you would need if you did this manually. The dots are us and the X's are the enemy. We're close. Let's go to guns. 5 inch gun battery. Range you can move 1, it manually yards. or tell them Start to aim contact. with the radar. Right, see? All five guns are aimed. Go! Fire. Now let's use star shells to illuminate the sea. And here it is. I can see it. There it is. Can we hit it again? Lost contact. The sonar found something. The operator will keep the sonar on the target. This is for depth charges. TRR. Let's ready the depth charges. Depth is shallow. Ready depth charges. Shallow pattern. Depth charges are readying to destroy the submarine. This instrument helps us determine when to fire the depth charges. Provided we can actually catch up and position ourselves properly to the U-boat. We're almost there and we can launch the depth charges once this crosses the dotted line and go. Fire one. Last depth range. charges going yards. down. Fire three. My son seems to be excited about it. Surface radar has a new contact. Here you can manage multiple contacts to know which one you're tracking. The tactical screen is pretty important because here's your convoy you're protecting, and the circles are your other destroyers that you can command to do stuff like this. Antler, this is Bloodhound. Go so engage the enemy. Alright, that's pretty much it. There's more, but this is enough to understand what's going on. Let's go into a battle now. And we'll have to move fast. It seems like it's going slowly, but it's really not if you have to manage everything. New battle. Let's take a small battle. Two destroyers protecting nine convoys. Let's take a default small battle. I don't know how many enemies there are, because you can customize it and set how many escorts you have, how many uh, convoy ships, how many enemies are attacking and all that, but it might be more exciting if we don't know. So let's take a small battle with two escorts and nine ships to defend and an unknown number of enemies. Let's go. Our convoy of nine ships. Surface radar has a new contact. Bearing zero, six, one. Range, 5,300 yards. Bridge combat. New surface contact from radar. Bearing zero, six, one. Range, 5,300 yards. I designate contact able. Time, 9.52. Contact able. Now bears zero, six, zero, range 5,000 yards. Lookouts, anything at zero, six, zero. I see nothing. Radio, zero, Captain, five, send a report to Convoy range, Commodore. 4, Jansen has unknown yards. contact on radar, front of the convoy. Contact, able, coming in much more strongly. I evaluate as a definite contact. Captain, I. Set general quarters, I. General quarters, general quarters, all hands man your battle stations. Set condition zebra throughout the ship. Stern depth charge detail zero, manned and ready. Five, Main battery eight, ports manned and ready. Engineering officer watch reports engineering yards. manned and ready. Zebra set, 
Four boilers online. Max speed 32 knots. Electric plant split. All fire pumps online. Very well. Yeah, all right, let's go. Now we're going to speed up and engage the contacts before it can get closer. Guns. Radar aim. Intercepting. Oh, I've tagged too much. Way too much. Hard right rudder. There's already some depth charges, they'll probably be Ready shallow. Depth. Right, they're on the right, we'll have to turn. Rudder and I should be able to hit them with our broadside. Turn towards them a little bit more and then Forward we can right, slow down right, to rudder. enable the sonar. Aye, there they are. Contact. Able. Now bears. One, Let's two, try and hit them. Two. Range. One Damn it, wrong button. No. Yards. I changed <laughs> ammo. Ah, I changed ammo rather than fire. I was supposed to click fire and I clicked select ammo. No matter, no matter. We know where they are. One. Two zero. Does the sauna see them? Lost contact. Able. Lost contact. Damn Last it. Bearing. One, two, two. Last range. One, two, 1, two. One hundred yards. Sonar. Here. New sonar contact. Bearing. New sonar contact. One, Perfect. Two. One, two, five. Sonar. They're contact. here. Able. Now bears. Good. One. Investigating arc. Zero. One. Four. Through. One. Nine. Four. I sir. Bearing drifting left. Oh, they're very close. Now bears. Can One, we do? Zero. The charges. Yards. Right, get ready. Navigation is very bloody difficult. Right, I need to turn. Sonar. Contact. Able. Zero, six, six. Zero, six, turn hard six. left. Hard Range. left, hard left, hard left. Yards. Bearings drifting left. Now bears. Zero, zero, three, zero, one. Three, ah, yards. we missed them. No matter, we can turn very fast. We'll catch them up. See, they're maneuvering to get away from us. It's not that easy. It's actually very difficult. Getting closer. Combat sonar. Contact making a sharp right turn. Five. Sharp right turn. Left. Doing Aye, a right sir. turn, we have to do the right turn as well. Go on, give me the bearing. Combat sonar. Contact. Able. Two, four, six. Two, four, six. Range. Two hundred yards. Wake on right cut. We missed them, didn't we? We Five. were almost Last there. Ah, I could have fired. We might lose a ship due to the range. fact that I didn't fire in time. They'll have to go shallow to do torpedoes, so we'll keep them on shallow. We'll catch them. We'll catch them. We're faster. Yeah, two, seven, two. Seven, two. They're here. Here, but to the now right, bears. almost there. Two. Bridge. This is so lookout. difficult. Object one half to the horizon. Bloodhound, this is Antler. Antler regained contact. Able, bearing two, eight, four. Range, 400 yards. It's so difficult. Yards. Estimated depth, shallow. Shallow depth, okay. We're set on that. Charges are set to shallow. God damn it. See, see how they're maneuvering. Ah, uh, they're trying to find the convoy from this Estimated side. Depth, shallow. Torpedoes. No. They shot torpedoes. We're gonna lose the transport. This is, this is so bloody difficult. They're moving very erratic. It's very difficult to aim the shot. Oh, 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 we're almost Contact there. Increasing depth. Increasing depth. Ready depth medium, charges. Medium, medium charges. Medium quick, 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 quick. Almost there. Combat Damn it. Sonar. Lost contact, Able. Four, Lost contact nine, which might mean they are yards. directly Blood under out. us. I'm gonna launch Fire the charges. Two. And try to reacquire the target. Because there might be right behind, right below us. Bloodhound, this is Antler. Antler now has nope. sonar contact. We missed them. See, they're almost under the convoy. This is terribly difficult. Oh, ah, see, we can Bloodhound. see them. Bloodhound, this is Antler. Antler now has sonar contact. Able. Bearing Damn it. One, three, three. Okay, Rage. second contact. Yards from We're going to order Surface radar has Antler a contact. to engage Bearing them three, while we try five, to take care of one. A. Range. 3,700 yards. So we missed the first submarine, but we distracted it enough that <laughs> it didn't hit any of the transports. Last range, Search pattern, please. Yards. Now we can't leave Abel alone because it will just circle back and destroy our Bloodhound. convoys from the, the first contact. Abel is somewhere in here, and, but we lost them. Trying to find them on sonar. So the fact that we didn't hit the enemy U boat is actually not a problem. The Baker submerged. Range, as long as. Yards from Antler can keep them occupied and submerged, they might not even be able to catch up to the convoy. Lost contact. So that's good. Baker. Contact Abel is still somewhere in here. Is Antler, Range, Antler is attacking yards. Contact Baker. <laughs> Looks like my subordinate is much Blood better at dropping depth Antler. charges Antler than I am. We're gonna turn and assume position on the side of the convoy. Let's hope we don't hit the transport ship. Merchant ship, CBDR, bearing, three, two. No problem. Now there's a chance that con one, contact zero, Able five, is relevant. hiding Aye, underneath sir. the convoy. I'll try and check that soon. For now, let's just keep our position with them. We scattered them off, and all our ships survived. 
for now. Right, let's try and sonar behind us. We might have left the submarine behind us, but it might as well be hiding beneath the convoy. I sent Anta to engage B. They're far away, but we'll keep them far away this way. Looks like he might have been hit. Yeah, we'll probably get rid of Baker. Not on our own. Looks like it was a conclusive hit because it erased B from the map. A is still Point here out. somewhere. Antler made a depth charge. Attack on contact. Baker. Sonar reports sound of a sinking submarine. Excellent. Baker is taken care of. Bloodhound. This is Antler. Antler regained contact. Able. They're right next Bloodhound. to the convoy. Turn speed up. We need to get them this time. So they were staying under the convoy almost. Bloodhound. Antler. 4, engage Able. Or we from radar. engage. One, four, Contact two, Charlie. Fire. Boom. Did we hit them? Well, they probably submerged already. Fire, fire as much as we can. Oh, 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 almost there. Contact Charlie now bears one, five, nine, range two hundred yards. Almost there. Like almost right there. Cut. Contact making a sharp left turn. Sharp left turn. Can we still get them? Yes, yes, we can still get them. And fire. Fire one. Let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Fire two. Combat sonar. Lost contact. Fire Charlie. three. Last bearing. One. Did five, they do this too late? Four. Ready depth charges. Ready a new batch. Antler made a depth charge. Attack on contact. Able. Unknown results. You know what? We have Combat Able sonar. in front of contact. us. We don't know Strong where Charlie is. We know noise. where Able is. Let's try and get Able again. Three, if we both focus four, on it, one. we shouldn't Relative. lose it Rage. in our sonars. Okay, we Ready both depth fire depth charges. Oh, I can see where they where it is. Which one am I? Combat sonar. Contact. Able. Now bears. Fire three. 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 Relative. Range. Three. Okay, I can see Lost from contact. where it is. Dog. Which Last means they're one. Here Niner. somewhere. Eight. Last range. One thousand yards. Bearings drifting right. Did we hit them? It's a bit of a Combat cheat, I can sonar. see them here. Contact. Nice. Able. Rudder. Five. Combat sonar. Regained contact. Charlie bearing zero four three relative range. Ah, uh, Charlie got in front of the convoy. Bloodhound. This Damn is it. Antler. Antler no. regained contact. Able bearing one eight zero range five hundred yards from Bloodhound. Combat sonar. Contact. <laughs> this is Charlie so difficult. Now bears. We lost two. one ship. Bloodhound. Okay, let's try and get Antler. Charlie. Antler regained contact. Dog bearing two. Did we win? Looks like we got away with just one ship being destroyed. Okay, so I succeeded in protecting the convoy, most of the convoy, 9, 8 out of 9. We did scare the U-boats off properly. However, I did not manage to kill any of them on my own. So I've decided to do a duel. Convoy size, 1. Convoy course, directly to the east. Number of AI escorts, zero, and one enemy submarine. No air support, it's just me versus the submarine. Can I kill it? It's just one convoy, so if I can't intercept it in time, the convoy will die. We managed to scare off enough submarines to save. Let's see if I can actually hunt the submarine in Destroyer, U-Boat Hunter. Just one merchant ship and one destroyer. Yeah, I know Surface it will be like this. Alright, let's combat. give this. News one for four. Sharp turn to the right. Able. I'm gonna kill it. If I can't, it's gonna torpedo my one transport and I'll lose. A duel. Whoops, I turned too much. The bearing thing is actually surprisingly convenient for navigation. Alright, let's see if we can hit them with our guns. Can we actually hit them? Probably not. Alright, keep tracking and fire as much as you can. No target. Okay, they're submerged. That's fine. 2,000 yards in front of us. Now we can slow down until we can find them on sonar. Ready depth charges. Shallow pattern. They should be somewhere in front of us. Let's see if our sonar can find them. Don't go too quickly, we don't want to go past them. Okay, they're behind us. Switch to absolute from relative. Steady as she goes. Uh, we were getting closer, now we're further away. Surface radar has regained contact. Able, bearing, one, five, Surface nine, radar, range, they have surfaced. 1,100 yards. One, five, seven, there they are. Right, let's turn quickly and hit them with the guns. Are they submerging? Not yet. Make sure to set the sonar in their direction. One, there they are. Three, start okay. Contact. Go. Target bearing. One, two, Hit. five. Range. One thousand 
200 yards. Fire. Target hit. acquired. On target. They're not submerging. Maybe I can hit Fire. them before they do. Looks like I got one hit. My damage is a marine. Let's observe where they're turning, just so we know where to find them when they submerge, which they're doing right now. All right, all right. They were at 110 and turning right. On sonar. They were turning right, so they should be going towards 120, 130. We're gonna find them in a moment. At least we scared them off from the convoy. Hmm, they might have turned back to the other side. Sonar, this is the captain. Perform active search. Regain contact. Regain Able. contact, excellent. Zero, oh, they seven, went to the left after three. all. Zero, 072, that'll be around here. Yeah. Excellent. Mainstream and left, so they're going this way. Combat Hopefully we can intercept. Contact. Rudder, five degrees left. Rudder, five degrees left. Aye, sir. Estimated depth, shallow. All right, all right, let's get ready. Be dropping the charges soon. 400 yards. All right, almost Wake there. Contact right. making I a sharp sir. right turn. Maybe I can hit them. Almost there. Fire hit. one. Come on. Yeah, we were right above them. Fire two. Come on, come on, come on. Combat sonar. Lost Fire contact. three. Able. Last bearing. Zero. Seven. Two. Last range. Make the turn. Yards. Did I hit them? Looks like I did, but I probably didn't. I'm not that lucky, but maybe. Right, I need to regain sonar contact. Sonar sweep. I need a faster sonar. Or several sonars. They should be between us and the transport somewhere. We need to act fast so they don't do torpedoes. Or maybe I hit them. Probably not, though. It was going well, though. Let's arm charges. Ready depth charges. Shallow Hello. pattern. Come on, sonar. Combat sonar. Regain contact. Able. Bearing. Zero. Found him. Two. Nine. Range. One thousand yards. Combat 1, thousand sonar. Yards. Contact. Able. Rudder amidships. Rudder amidships. Aye, sir. Zero three zero Combat here one thousand yards. Very close actually. Combat Turning sonar. right a bit. Contact. Line up a shot. Appears to be periscope feather. Bearings drifting right. Periscope feather. Come on sonar. Three hundred yards. Medium depth. Estimated Let's switch depth. that. Medium. Ready depth charges. Medium pattern. But we're very close. One now two bears. four. One two four. Range three hundred yards. Bearing steady. Good. We're almost on top of them. Decreasing depth, okay. We'll go to shallow. shallow Don't go too fast or we'll miss them. Okay, now almost there, almost there, almost there. Zero, zero, range, 200 yards. Bearing steady. Combat sonar, contact, able. Now bears. Zero yards, one, you know me, one, okay. Six, range, 30 yards. Right, below me. Drifting right. Boom. Combat sonar, lost contact, able. Last bearing, Fire two. one. Ah, a bit too late. Last range. But maybe, Fire maybe. Three. Turn to the right and we'll re right rudder. Hard we catch rudder. them. Aye, sir. All engines ahead, one third. All engines ahead, one third. Aye, sir. Did we? Did we hit them? Kind of looks like we did. Surface radar has regained contact. Able. Ah, Bearing there they are. Zero, three, four. Range, 1,100 yards. Contact, able. Now bears. Zero, them. three. Six range one thousand two hundred yards. Stand by to fire. Target bearing zero three seven range one thousand three hundred yards. And they're turning. Contact able now. Bears, sure are zero to hit. Four one range five. one thousand five hundred yards. Target bearing Come zero on, hit four it. two range one thousand fire six hundred yards on target. I don't think I've hit it once. Fire. Come on, I need better gunners. It's not that far Fire. away. Contact Turning able. towards me. Now bears Fire. zero four niner range one thousand six hundred yards. Target All right, go to sonar. Absolute day we're at fifty. Combat sonar. Regain contact. Able bearing zero. Excellent. I am getting the hang of this. Although Combat I still can't hit them. Should I slow down? Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. Let's go to drop the charges. Drop them now. Fire on that sonar. Contact. Able. Now bears. Fire one, two. Zero. Three. Range. One. Fire okay. three. Okay. They are on Last our contact. right. Able. Almost got them. Last bearing. One. Zero. Three. Last range. One hundred yards. Wake on left cut. Did we hit them? Almost. But I know where they are now. They are here. Hard I'll right turn rudder. to the right. Aye, sir. Do you have them, Sonar? Bearings I'm drifting really right. getting the hang of this. Shallow pattern. 
Almost there, almost there, almost there, almost there. Boom. Let's see. Combat sonar. Regain contact. Able. Almost. One. Surface radar has regained contact. Able. Bearing. One. Uh -huh. There two, you are. One. Range. One thousand two hundred yards. Come on, hit them. Fire. Contact. Able. Now bears. One. Fire. Two. Five. Oh, they're Range. getting away. I need to speed up then. Contact 125. One, there, go. Two, oh, they're trying to get shallow. away, aren't they? We have them on sonar, they're not getting away. Combats, this is the most useful yards. view, I think. Come on, where are Combat you? Sonar. Contact. Able. Now 1, 2, 4, One, 800 two, yards. Four. Turn to the right. Rain. 1, 2, 4, this is good. Turn to the Runner, left a ten, little bit. Left. Runner, get ten, ready. Left. Aye, sir. To drop the charges. Combat zone. Contact. Able. Now bears. Zero. Seven. Four. Range. One hundred yards. Wake on right cut. Combat sonar. Lost contact. Able. Last bearing. Zero. Three. Seven. Turn to the right. One hundred yards. Hard right and drop. Fire right. Rudder. Twenty-five degrees right. I went over them. I went over them. Oh, maybe, maybe. Hard left rudder. Hard left no, rudder. I dropped the charges too late. Didn't I? Oh, maybe not. Excellent. Yes, epic victory. All U boats sunk. Okay, this was difficult, but also quite a lot of fun. The game goes live on the 28th of September, so the same day I'm releasing this video. And it's the first time I've seen something like that for ships, because this is a true simulator. I've seen car simulators, flight simulators, but I've never seen a ship simulator like this. Because this is not a naval combat game, this is a destroyer simulator. It's difficult, it is rather unforgiving, but it's also satisfying when you finally get those depth charges to hit. So I think any of you that are actually interested in military history, like a lot of you are, might find this game very interesting. I sure found out a lot about how destroyer combat works, probably as much as I would from watching a documentary, while playing a game. The version I'm playing is still pre-release, there will be more stuff in the game. I've shown you most of the things I wanted to show you, but there's still some talking to do. See, the U-boat captains have varied AI. They can be aggressive, sneaky, patient, like Abel from the first one, or just professional. Last one I destroyed, I think they were pretty aggressive. And you can get into pretty huge battles. See, this one is 30 convoy ships, 5 escorts and, uh, well, a lot of attackers. Let's see what the maximum number of attackers was. 15 submarines at the same time. I had trouble with one. Now remember, this is a sponsored video, so this is not a review. However, I find this game fun, but I also find it, more importantly, interesting and unique. If you are a fan of the period, you should probably check it out. There is a link in the description below that will take you to the store, and you must decide yourself if this is something for you. However, one thing I can say for sure is that this is a unique experience. Right, thank you for watching, and a thank you to the creators of the game for sponsoring this video. Let me know how you like it in the comments, and I'll see you again soon. Goodbye.